Um, what we know is that this administration has been uh, very cooperative with the legitimate oversight interests of Congress, uh, broadly speaking, and, and, and uh, in regard to this matter. The Department of Justice provided an enormous number of documents, provided uh, hours and hours of testimony by the Attorney General and other Justice Department officials, uh, and uh, twice now has uh, made an effort to uh, accommodate the interests of uh, the chairman and other and leaders uh, in the Republican Party on this matter. Unfortunately, they have shown very uh, little interest in reaching a resolution. Instead, they've chosen a path of political confrontation and, and theater, which I think those of us who have been around for a while here under, you know, recognize this for what it is. Uh, what is it? Politics. It has, you know, as I said before, I mean, the, the operation. The attorney general is going to be held in contempt of well, Congress we'll over see. this, and but, the most you'll say right, is more is, political points. I mean, it, 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 that's how about? that's how preposterous it is, right? Because it's not about uh, Fast and Furious. The operation itself, uh, all of the documentation relating to the operation itself, prior to February fourth of last year, was has been provided. The uh, administration has endeavored to accommodate. Uh, the committee uh, and uh, Republican leaders uh, in, in uh, its request for further information. The assertion of privilege here has to do with uh, the absolutely necessary uh, action that any president, uh, any head of the executive branch, must take in order to preserve the capacity of the executive branch uh, to engage in internal deliberations, uh, both now and in the future, for every administration going forward.